This is calculator question number 11 from April 2019 SAT. College Board gives us a graph for a future value of an investment after 20 years, giving either comp daily or annual compounding. I've drawn daily in pink and annual in purple because I don't have the precision of printing that they have for their outputs. And annual rates 0, 5, 10, 15, or 20 where the annual interest rate is R and the future value of the vertical axis is V. And they ask which of these statements is true. A says as R increases at a constant rate, V increases more rapidly if interest is compounded annually rather than daily. B is the reverse. As R increases at a constant rate, V increases more rapidly if interest is compounded daily rather than annually. And my instinct would be is if we have two opposite answers, one of the two is likely to be true. Let's check the others though. Choice C, as R increases at a constant rate, the difference in interest compounded daily and interest compounded annually increases at a constant rate. If we look at this, it looks like rather than moving apart at a steady rate, this is moving apart at an increasing rate rather than a constant rate of increase. So choice C is wrong. It does not match the picture. Choice D, if R equals 15% and interest is compounded annually, which is purple, then a $1,000 investment, which is what this graph shows, will be worth $20,000 after 20 years. But if we look, the purple is at halfway between $10,000 and $20,000, which would be $15,000 for a 15% interest rate. So choice D is wrong. That would be the answer for a compounded daily, which is almost exactly 20,000. So we're deciding between A and B. And if you look at the graphs, daily, the pink as I've drawn it, is growing more rapidly than annually, the purple as I've drawn it. So we want increases more rapidly daily rather than annually would be choice B and not choice A. For this type of question, it's often best to mark off the wrong answers until one is left to make sure you haven't missed anything in the wording of the question. And we should know from our compound interest formulas that we covered back in Algebra 2 that daily compounding does grow more rapidly than annual compounding for the same interest rate. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.